I'm Luke Shelmer. I'm an ENT doc. So people a lot of times have no idea what we're doing when we're talking about sinus surgery. And I wanted to talk about specifically one technology that we have at our disposal that I really think makes a, a massive difference. And this has been, technology has been around for around oh, 20 years or so. It's certainly got a lot more prevalent in the last um, 15, 10 to 15 years. And that's called uh, image-guided sinus surgery. Okay, and so uh, basically it uh, previously was done with these giant machines in the OR, but uh, really amazingly over the, about the last five years, the technology has moved into the office. And we have an image guided sinus surgery set up right here um, in our office. And so basically what happens is patients have a CAT scan done. And then the CAT scan is fed into the computer and then the computer basically is able to take the images of the scan and it is registered to your to your face um, and head with this tool over here that kind of sits behind your head and I'm not going to get it out because I don't really want to mess with it. Um, but uh, and then the tools that we place in the sinuses we can see up on the screens exactly where we are. It's like the difference between old-style sinus surgery having a map and saying this is where I think I am. I think I'm in um, you know Toledo. Well you better be in Toledo because if you end up in like I don't know Washington DC you're gonna have a big problem both on the map and because they're nowhere near each other but also from a from a sinus standpoint because there's super important structures right around the sinuses. The eyes are and the brain is and um, you know when sinus surgery first got started in the 1980s, there were some pretty significant and serious complications that could occur. Now these are super, super rare nowadays. They still can happen. But image guidance makes it easier because it's like the difference between looking at a map and GPS. People don't use maps anymore. You know why? Because they're not active. People have to look at the map and think and say, I think I'm here hopeful that the map tells us where we are, but GPS is like, no, you're there. And image guided sinus surgery is a lot like that. So if you're, you know, if you're kind of like th saying, I'm in a particular part of a sinus, uh, specifically in the scarier sinuses, the ones that are right below the brain, between the eyes, called the ethmoids, and if you're supposed to be where you're supposed to be, well, you're safe. And especially when sinuses get complicated, when they've been operated on before, or patients have polyps and growths, or if they've got a, a very uh, a sinus that bleeds a lot, it can be kind of like, I think I know where I am, but something with the image guidance really makes a big difference. Now, we're not gonna be doing ultra complicated cases here in the office, but it is still extremely helpful getting into particular sinuses in the office, knowing that that's where we are and, and not having to, uh, you know, poke around too much because when patients in their office, they they may, you know, we, we want to make it more comfortable for them and easier for them. So um, anyway, this is image guided sinus surgery. It makes a giant difference in my opinion for sinus cases. And uh, again, uh, it, I think that it's not necessarily needed for every single case, but it certainly makes it uh, very beneficial for us. All right.